Hey everybody and welcome back to Daz Studio. In this video we're going to very quickly look at how to apply DeForce to a primitive which will allow you to create things like blankets, curtains, or whatever. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting the notification icon. That always helps me out. And of course a huge thank you to all of my patrons and members. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. If you're interested in supporting the channel, feel free to visit the Patreon in the description down below or simply become a member by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. So let's jump into this then. So the first thing we obviously have to do is create a primitive. So we're going to click on this icon up here that looks like three shapes smushed together. And we're gonna just change this and we're gonna create a plane like so. Now, this is the most important part of this it is um, how we actually get things like blankets and that to work and the reason is is that you'll get a lot of people who create a plane with only one division which means it's only got four vertices which means that when you apply deforce you apply it to those four vertices and nothing happens in the middle so what we have to do is we're going to create this and we're going to give it like 150 divisions over the space of a two meter square so there you go when we click on that we can't really see the vertices because we're not in wireframe mode but if we were to change our view style here and we were going to wire shader you can see now that there are a lot of vertices in this shape now a whole lot and if we were to just raise that up like so we can see those a little bit more clearly and we can always test our simulation by putting an object underneath that so that it drapes over the top of it but this is just a demonstration of how to actually get to that stage so what we want to do is with our object selected we're going to go to edit object geometry and then we're going to add deforce modifier dynamic surface and it will do a little bit of a think and then you'll notice that in the parameters tab on the right hand side simulation will now have appeared there and you'll be able to see that you have a dynamic surface and you can use simulation start frame and you can turn the simulation off again by having free simulation and that is all there is to it this object will now react as a piece of cloth we're just going to quickly create a primitive underneath this we're going to slap a sphere underneath it we're going to make it one meter in diameter and that's all we need to do there so as you can see one is above the other and i'm going to quickly run a simulation just so that you can see uh, how this is going to work so we'll hit simulate and it's going to do a quick bit of calculation And there you go as you can see we have now got our draped cloth over the top of our sphere and that is all there is to it folks hope you've enjoyed that let me know what you think in the comments below if you've got any things that you'd like me to cover in one of these bite-sized videos feel free to let me know as well and until i see you again take care of yourselves guys have a good one Bye bye